basically there's a scenario and there are two people in the fight and then the ref has to determine who would win the fight and then everybody makes a, a case for the like the cards that they picked basically put it down so that you don't know whose is whose everyone who beats the opponent gets a point everyone who doesn't does it now change ref somehow and do it all again that's it okay i'll be the ref for the first round so i draw a white card i think i'm supposed to show it to everybody else the statue of liberty Okay. And two black cards, armed with a taser, killed by water. So everyone else, this is your opponent. Choose one white card with two black cards from your hand as a fighter to beat that opponent. Can I turn around yet? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so I feel like there's a clear win. this is the opponent. Yeah, yeah, statue of liberty. Mm -hmm. Okay, demolitions expert. Can dig and run through tunnels with super speed. That's that's convenient for them. Lays exploding eggs. Man, that that was perfect. That was a perfect <laughs> little lineup. Rhino, uh, rhinosaur, rhinoceros. Tough, that's a rhinoceros. Yeah. Rhinoceros. 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 <laughs> Aw, I can't turn left. <laughs> Dated <laughs> opponent's mom. Musketeer can fly but only two feet above the ground. That sounds pretty lame. Made of peanut butter. <laughs> All right. Well, I would watch like a cartoon of that. I think. Yeah. See the per the first one Are you is too perfect. What do you yes, the first the first one is perfect, but the second one makes me laugh because he dated the opponent's mom. Yeah, you can't turn. Okay, I, I'm gonna yeah ry uh, rhinoceros. Oh. Who who had that? Oh, no. Well, you no, weren't gonna win either I way. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> is, that, is that the really the rules? Yeah. No, wait. It says everyone who beats the opponent gets a point. Did oh. you stop reading halfway through the card? <laughs> <laughs> do you really think the demolitions expert could Would destroy kill a, a statue? statue? Yes. Yeah. No, I feel good about it. Yeah. Why do you want him to win so bad? It's not even your hand. Want, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna I want the world that good. I want the world to be a just place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next round. Fifty of me <laughs> can take the form of anything he or she touches. Wow. Fifty, fifty of me that can take the form of anything I touch against a Terminator who is on fire, both figuratively, figuratively and literally. <laughs> Play this card to eliminate all attributes in the fight. So just me versus the Terminator. 50 of you versus the Terminator. No, it's just eliminate all the attributes. So yeah. everybody's... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah okay. It's just you versus so the Terminator. So it's just you versus the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to judge whether I think that I can beat the Terminator? Yeah. What if you touch a Terminator? No, I don't have no, any No, you abilities. eliminate that attribute. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. So I, I lose to the Terminator. And Oct I'm fighting Octomom. Octomom with a sidekick. Okay, the baseball bat? Yeah. And charges, and charges when she sees the color, color red. red. Mm. And the sidekick is a sharpshooter who can resurrect once and can clone himself as many times as he wants, but each clone is half the size of the previous oh, one. I, I clearly win. Though. What? There's 50 yeah. of me. Like, how many people can the <laughs> sharpshooter kill yeah. before I take out the sharpshooter? And but he can have 50 sharpshooters. Shooter. As soon as I touch the gun from the, I, I, one of me can throw the gun <laughs> from the other. <laughs> you just turn yeah. into a gun. It's like, it's <laughs> like, like, like a, a, a no. Tron in Starscream. Uh, I'm fighting a woolly mammoth that can shoot acid. And his sidekick. sidekick is all of Canada. That's more, that's more than 50. That can throw burritos <laughs> and has a time machine. Yeah, so it's an infinite loop of burritos. But Canada can't fit in that time machine phone booth, so that's, that's me. It's a TARDIS. It's gated. It's bigger on the inside. side. And Canada doesn't have an arm, so it can't throw the burrito. So Canada's not, not necessarily. It doesn't say TARDIS. Is it, it Canada like a country, like a building. physical Canada, or is it the inhabitants of Canada? I think we it's have a certain amount of poetic and creative license I'm here. I'm the judge. You're not the judge. Wait till you're the judge. I am like up against a woolly mammoth that can shoot acid. Yeah. And that is pretty rough. <laughs> I can take the form of a woolly mammoth that shoots acid, though, so I win. And kill your sidekick? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, right. there was only one way mine was gonna. So I, yeah, I, I, I beat the term. A Terminator beats me, but I beat the other two of you. So only Tina wins. Yay! Okay. All right, Girl Scout relies on sonar to see, relies on heat vision to see. So I oh. guess you could either take that as they cancel each other out and it's just a blind Girl Scout, or a Girl Scout with both sonar and heat vision. Yeah, which would be tough to fight. Yeah. Wait, you mean like thermal vision kind of vision, like the predator? I think so. Like yeah. That's, yeah, I think so. Like a like instead a of every time a she's like Cyclops, and every time she tries to open her eyes, <laughs> she just shoots lasers out. So we have an Apache warrior who can become any animal and can stop time while holding their breath. Two little rascals in a trench coat. <laughs> Entire body is very sticky. Can tell. <laughs> 
can teleport but goes blind for 10 seconds after each use. I'm gonna go with no. Not. What? Come no. on now. Really? No. Yeah, because like, so. what is, just because you can see they go doesn't mean blind you can do anything. After, they go blind. Yeah, but every all time they need they to their do only power. is teleport their right only to power. her and then stick to her and she's done. They're like How? sandwiching with Wait, Girl Scout. In what, in what way is she done? Because you know, she's you can, stuck. She's, she's just stuck, stuck to the. <laughs> Yeah. Is this is that is that like a submission hold like they tap Yeah, pretty she much. And then out. she's gonna exactly. Right. I don't think that's it's a count. I don't think that's a criteria. Or they suffocate her no. to death. So, which specific? <laughs> Speaking of, all. and a French bulldog is a baby armed with terrible poetry. Come on, the, the girl's cock cannot mean, hurt that. It's like she's gonna she's gonna like break down on like. Little is it a puppy or is it a human? Yeah, baby? It's a baby. It's a yeah. baby. Mean puppy. A, pe- a puppy. <laughs> Because French bulldog. <laughs> she oh, only sees sorry. that. Wait, she only sees the thermal vision view of the bulldog. It's not that cute. In thermal it's still a baby. The cuteness <laughs> will only make her the... stronger. Is what? The cuteness will only make her stronger. But I thought it's terrible poetry. Don't you want to kill people who, you know, recite terrible poetry Listen, to you? It's Guys, they're in pain. I'm not Evan. I'm not going to deliberate. Stephen wins. Goodbye, sweet French bulldog. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was cute. I would have won. Pick a TV character. It has one million Twitter followers. Literal butterface. All right. Well, we're gonna pick Jake. So he's a dog that can stretch into pretty much anything, and also he's very cool and he likes adventures. He likes yeah. And he has a really cool yeah, girlfriend, cool. also. He's, yeah. Formidable fire. And he speaks Korean. Okay, Kotaku commenter, yeah. yeah. Wearing just the most beautiful hat. <laughs> Can't stop clapping. That actually sounds pretty accurate yeah. as to how I imagine a Kotaku commenter. Nice. Um, Wait, and they're up against who? They're against, against Jake, dog? yeah, who can morph into anything. Who's like, like stre- he can stretch and turn gigantic and stuff. He can turn into an umbrella. <laughs> um, that was in the 3DS game. I don't know, I mean, none of those things are aggressive, but I think that Jake, since he can turn into anything, and he probably since he has one million Twitter followers, has like you know an well, army. I think, I think the he can turn into anything. Or he can stretch. What was that? He can turn into anything. He can like stretch around. And he like, can turn into a hammer. He can turn into like the sun. Like what do we make? No. Oh no, like, no, just shapes. No. Yeah, he shapes. Yeah. yeah. He's like Plastic Man. I keep telling you, he's like Plastic Man. <laughs> All right, so I think that Jake would win in that scenario, despite that being a funny lineup. Was that yours? But he's overwhelmingly positive. The Kotaku commenter. It's true. Gladiator, everything they are about to do is narrated by Morgan Freeman. Wow. <laughs> the Rose Cats. This dog is being is having to fight these cats, like a serious a potential yeah. infinite yeah. number of cats. Yeah. There's no limit on them. I feel like Jake would be enthralled by the Morgan Freeman narration. Yeah, and be like stunned he into probably like, would. Mm-hmm. into like, you know. But he just wouldn't fight them at that point. So does that mean that you well, win? He's not gonna if he's win not if he's not fighting. He's a gladiator we're talking about. And that right. was the dad. Right. Yeah. He fought all the cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can let the gladiator win. Though, for the record, I think without the cats, gladiator would be more powerful. Oh, yeah, okay, pick a movie character. So. Godzilla. Okay. <laughs> it's wow. drunk. Drunk Godzilla. Wow. Armed with okay. nunchuck so Godzilla is using his breath to fry your dog, <laughs> no matter what he turns into. And yeah, he might like... Actually, if Jake turned into a shield, he probably totally could shield the He's not going to feel anymore because he's drunk. Your dog's getting crushed. See, if you watch Adventure Time, you would know. He's stretching his legs up and he's just walking over the rubble. Well, he, Godzilla, can, he can literally he turn understand. into Godzilla. He can turn himself into Godzilla. No, we established, I asked that question before, what he can turn into, and you said shapes. Yeah, the shape Godzilla of Godzilla. Godzilla is not a shape. The okay, shape so, of so a little dog-sized dog Godzilla. Godzilla. No, you don't understand Look, Jake. Let's okay. say, listen, the Godzilla myth cancels each other out. Uh, Steven's Godzilla still has no <laughs> Yeah, but he's drunk. He's like going like this. He's got the, you know, I, miniature I, I, arms. No, I feel like Jake would be Godzilla. I think Jake wow. would be Godzilla. J- you don't understand how powerful Jake is. Yeah, Jake, Jake pretty much would be Godzilla. Powerful Godzilla is. Jake is, you know, far more yeah, magical. Like and pretty much every episode Wait, of Adventure so Time. Wait, so you need to revisit this call about whether the gladiator could be this dog because your dog turns into Godzilla, apparently. He can. So here's the thing. So how does this gladiator who has Morgan Freeman talking about him and can throw cats? Be, because he'd be, be so enraptured by it and distracted and he would enjoy it and want to join in. There's an episode of Adventure Time actually where a bunch of cute little guys are trying to fight him and he just thinks they're so adorable and so he lets them like stab his Do feet. Do you not stuff. think that a drunk <laughs> you know what I'm about? is somewhat adorable? I think. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the nunchucks in his little hands. That's adorable. Aww. <laughs> yeah, but he'd be so destructive in the process and hurting so many people, and Jake just does not deal with people getting hurt in the Candy Kingdom. It's totally absurd. 
All right, Stephen wins. All right, good times. This was fun. You guys had fun? Right. Yes. Should we close up the video or are we just going to end it there? Ask for it. Because it's almost Christmas and Santa's been on a rampage and just murdered everybody, I think. Just look at these poor elves. Look at this guy. Poor Gary. Why did you have to kill Gary, the great elf? Enough to burn his corpse.